The demo session that's included with Pro Tools is designed to help you to start to find your way around a typical Pro Tools project. Once you've launched Pro Tools, you'll see the Getting Started dashboard, where you'll find links to other tutorials and some template sessions to get you started on your own music. Open the session by clicking on Open from Disk and navigating to the session. You'll find it in your Pro Tools folder that's been created in Documents. Open the folder, then go to Demo Sessions, Can't Get Enough Pro Tools Demo, and double click on the session file. The session uses plugins and virtual instruments that come with your version of Pro Tools. If you're missing anything, then you can go to Avid Link to download it. As you can see, the tracks are laid out from top to bottom with all the elements of the song, starting with drums, then bass, keys and loops, and then the vocal tracks. Underneath the vocals are some effects, and then a mix bus track which we'll come back to in a moment. As well as this window that we're looking at, which we call the edit window, Pro Tools has a mix window which shows your session in a view that's more like a mixing console. As well as the faders, panners and automation controls, you can see the insert slots where you can insert plugins and sends for reverb and delay. Even if you're not familiar with mixing consoles, this window is quite easy to learn and gives you a good overview of the session's routing and organization. Switching back to the edit window, using command equals on Mac or control equals on Windows, let's take a look at how things are laid out. While you're in the edit window, you'll want to be able to zoom in and out, which you can do with the controls in the zoom cluster or by using R and T on the keyboard. The top strip of the edit window is the toolbar, containing many of the controls for working with your session. You'll need these when it comes to editing, controlling the transport, setting up countings, and so on. For now, all you need is the spacebar to start and stop the session. The rulers above the tracks show where you are on the timeline, whether that's bars and beats or minutes and seconds. You also have rulers for tempo, meter, and chords. And then you have your markers where you can put in session locators to navigate yourself around your song using the memory location window that is already open. This demo song is built from audio tracks containing recorded audio clips, instrument tracks with MIDI clips, and AUX tracks which are used to root and mix your audio. The main beat in this track uses the Groove Cell drum instrument. The MIDI for the drum parts is on the instrument track, but we've rooted the individual drum sounds to separate tracks so you can balance them and apply processing using the Channel Strip plugin or another EQ or Dynamics plugin. As you scroll down, you'll see more drum sounds that are on audio tracks, such as the drum fill or the percussion loop. Moving further down to the keys, again, we're using virtual instruments played back using MIDI. In this case, the Mini Grand Piano and Expand 2 Synth. Next are the vocal tracks, lead vocals for the verse and chorus, and some background vocals. You can see each recorded part has its own clip, which can be moved and edited using Pro Tools Edit Tools. Using the Smart Tool, which is activated by default, you'll see that the tools are context sensitive, so the functions change as you move around the clip, a really easy way to work. The last group of tracks are the effects returns. This is where your reverbs, delays, and so on live. These effects returns are fed by sends on each track. Take a look at the verse lead vocal track. Click on the send to bring up a send level fader so you can adjust the level of reverb on the track. The last track in the session is called Mix Bus. This is an important track as all of the tracks in the session are rooted through this track. This enables you to apply processing such as compression and EQ to the whole track. You can also right click on the track to bounce out the stereo mix. All tracks in this session are grouped in folders. Folders help to organize things in the session, as you can see when you look at the tracks list to the left. Closing the folder hides the tracks to tidy up your view. Hopefully, exploring this session will give you some ideas about how to organize your own Pro Tools sessions. When you're ready to start making your own music, you can use the included template sessions as a starting point and follow our series of videos to walk you through the creative process. But we're here